What is going on guys? Welcome back to 2 Minute Tuesday. My name is Yosuke Shingu. Today I'm gonna answer this question. How can you improve your cardio? Have you ever wondered how can I run faster in long distance? You have to know this. Aerobic heart rate training. Let's get started. Let's get our two minute timer started. By the definition, the aerobic heart rate zone is excellent for increasing number and the size of blood vessels in your muscle and improve your lungs ventilation. As a result, your body is able to carry more oxygen to your muscle and take away waste products. Okay, let me explain how to calculate your aerobic heart rate zone. So, it's a simple math. 180 minus your age. So I'm 31 years old, maybe I'm 32 already when this video goes live. Wish me happy birthday. But anyways, 180 minus your age. So I'm 32 years old, so it's gonna be 148. That's the maximum level of aerobic heart rate zone. Right now, you will have 148 to 138. That's where you want to your heart rate to be as you do the cardio training. So let's see when I'm running outside you have an apple watch or anything like heart rate monitor and then make sure when you're running you're in the zone of the aerobic heart rate zone so how's this training works let's say you're training for marathon let's say you're running six miles and then you start running you want to increase your heart rate little by little just warm up for like five to ten minutes and then you get to aerobic heart rate zone like 138. I would recommend to like keep running like 142 range. So maximum and then minus five. That's where you wanna be in the average. Whenever you start implement aerobic heart rate zone, you almost feel like you're walking. Trust me, essentially what happened to your body is your heart's gonna get used to your uh, dynamics, like your cardio. It actually takes months to train like this way. However, this is the only way you get faster. And then whenever you're running, let's say 11 minutes pace, and then six miles and then your heart rate is about 142, somewhere around there. And then next month, you can start running at 1030 pace. And then it's the same heart rate as 142. And then six months from now, you can start running like 10 minute pace per mile. Your effort and your heart rate is stay the same, but your heart is getting stronger. So that's how that aerobic heart rate zone training works. It's not about how hard you're going, but you have to keep track of your progress, either distance or duration, duration of what you're doing cardio for. So you can do the same amount of cardio maybe once a week, twice a week or whatever your session is. It's gonna take a while guys, but eventually, you're gonna get fast. But anyways, I hope this makes sense and hopefully you guys like this video. And then smash the like button, don't be a half-stepper, and then always be frank. See you guys next video. Peace.